So today we're going to be talking about ways to improvise or arrange a left hand accompaniment. My name is Stephanie Claussen. I'm a professional harpist and arranger. At the end of this video, I'm going to share my recommendations on how you can actually start getting comfortable with these principles and put them into action. By the way, for all of this, I'm assuming that you already have your chords either decided or written out for you somewhere. This is what to do with your chords once you've got them. The first principle is start simple and get more complicated. This applies to the piece itself, but also to the process of learning how to arrange or improvise a left hand. Sometimes you can just start with the melody. You don't even need an accompaniment for the first line or maybe even the whole first verse. Uh, and in terms of the process of learning how to do this, pick a pattern like a triad, three notes, they're stacked in thirds, and then just move it around or an open fifth. Once you can move your hand comfortably from chord to chord in that same shape, then you can start thinking about what if I arpeggiate this? Or what if I do a different shape sometimes? Just be patient with yourself, master the basics before you try to be fancy. Because harp itself is so beautiful, it doesn't need to be fancy. The second tip is whenever you're having really fast notes in your right hand, have a very simple left hand. having a very simple, beautiful, open right hand, then you want to add more notes in your left hand to sort of fill in that space. So do you notice how I'm starting out with eighth notes? quarter notes instead of eighth notes. The next principle is that if your right hand is not playing on beat one of a measure, then it's usually a good idea to have something in your left hand there, just to mark that time. Beat one is always the most important beat in every measure. It's just comforting for somebody listening to music to be able to tell where the pulse of the, the piece is. hand when you're filling that downbeat it doesn't always have to be a root position chord like a big chunky thing it could be the end of an arpeggio so like this one two three four one two three four one two three four I would apply the same principle to beat three if you're in a four four time signature um, beats one and three are kind of the pillars of your rhythm one two three four one two three four between the two hands you have something on beat one and three the fourth principle is that the faster your harmonic rhythm the easier or shorter your left hand pattern should be so harmonic rhythm is the speed at which you're changing chords so if you've ever seen a hymnal there's often a different chord on every single beat of the measure. So listen to just how fast these chords change. Whew. You're not going to have time to do an arpeggio on every single one of them. So if you want a lot of chords changing very frequently, Choose the simplest pattern you can. Single notes work really good. It, even then, I would cut out some of those. It seems too busy to me. And the opposite is true. So if you have one chord that lasts for three measures, 
you can pick a pattern in your left hand, a long arpeggio, or maybe... Or I could do... all the time it's nicer to just do something that doesn't take a lot of time the fifth principle is to do something the same for a length of time and then change so at the end of that phrase instead of keeping these up the same pattern until I get tired of it and then I try to change just a little bit before that point because you never want somebody listening and you never want to feel bored how long can this pattern just be beautiful and enjoyable and simple and not take it any longer than that so we have these five principles now how do we actually get good at not only being able to write them out as an arrangement, but do them as an improvisation. So you're kind of tracking all these things as you are sight reading a piece. My recommendation is if you have any music that has chords written in already, and that you either can hum the melody, or if you have a recording of the piece, but like a fake book that comes with a recording, or any of Sylvia Wood's books that come with recordings, and then just play with the CD and don't do the right hand for now. Just work on getting your left hand, moving from chord to chord, reading those chord symbols. Um, very simple, and it will start to come. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And happy improvising and